of course, everybody knows who I am. I am Kenneth Hines, and I have my Hi. lovely subject, the wonderful master chef, Kristen Willis. <laughs> so what we're doing today is doing a few portraits, and I'm actually sh might shoot with two cameras. I have the A7R three right now, but I have my second camera, which is the Sony A9, and I also have two additional lenses, the 55 Sony Zeiss, as well as the Zeiss Bodice 135 millimeter lens. So we're actually outside of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and we're actually shooting the brand new pedestrian bridge, which is here in Atlanta. And so what I'm actually capturing is going through this tunnel here. Where the light is hitting right now is actually beautiful. It's given a nice gold color tone. So I'm getting just a very nice kind of basically reflection off of her face from the golden tones of the, the light. So I wanted to shoot at this specific time because the lighting was just perfect enough, not too harsh, and it's not blinding. That's that's the key. So she doesn't have to worry about squinting her eye. Um, if need be, we can step back a little bit just to kind of minimize any kind of squinting or distraction the lighting might have. But we're just going to see what some of these shots look. So this is our first time ever photographing with one another, but we've known each other for 13 years, 13 years. It's all her fault, though. <laughs> All her fault. So kind of to talk through my shot. So what I'm doing now is I'm shooting at F 2.2, not all the way wide open. And I'm at an ISO of 100. And my shutter speed is kind of going between 2,500, sometimes 4,000, just depending on how the light's hitting and I'm actually using an exposure value that is negative 0.3. You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> I'm gonna switch to autofocus continuous. So before I was in single, and we're gonna switch this to continuous because as she's moving, I want the camera to actually track her eye and any movement there. So I might switch and see what we can get on our nine here. Actually, I might keep this lens. So we can do with the 55. Roughly about the same settings. I'm using the 55 Sony Zeiss here. And now what I'm actually doing is I'm actually capturing her full length with her body's shadow in the background and catching the depth of the tunnel. Okay. So I'm gonna switch my camera settings. We're gonna go in continuous on this camera as well. Now, one thing that I love about the A9 over the A7R 3 is that I have a little bit of higher buffer in my shutter speed. So with the high sun, I can actually knock off a little bit more shots with more wide open settings, like if I want it to go to 1.8, for instance. Let's do some where you're like right here. So kind of like, you know, like you're you're waiting for someone to just come by and like I've been waiting all day. Oh, that's cute. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Wow, oh, you're killing it, man. <laughs> <laughs> These are so amazing. How is this just your camera? I can't, I cannot believe it. Wow. Zeiss lenses. Zeiss. Zeiss, you're amazing. She said that. She asked the question, how are they this good in the camera? Now I know why. This is why I shoot Zeiss lenses. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm going to keep the A7R 3 with the 85 millimeter 1.8, but I'm going to switch the lens on the A9 to the 135 2.8 bodice. So both bodice lenses on uh, both camera bodies, but I want to see, you know, what the longer lens will have compression wise for this distance beautiful so i love the pose just make sure you yes make sure you're keeping your body straight and then kind of lean in a bit perfect and then lean your chin going towards me so yes 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 Okay, so to kind of walk through what I'm doing, 
So I have a Stella Pro 1000 light. It's at max power. I'm using the Zeiss Bodice 135 2.8. And then I have the gorgeous Kristen that is just giving us all possible great shots right now. These are amazing. No way. We can pack up and go home. <laughs> I know. Run this thought with me. What if she lays up against this with her legs up? Look at that. Look at that. You're making my Isn't that day. awesome? Like, you are making my day. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I'm honored. That's <laughs> I'm beautiful. So honored. So I'm still shooting primarily with the same setup. I'm still on the 135 A9 of uh, continuous for my autofocus settings. Let's see what we can get here with Miss Kristen. Let's get that Weston building back there. So I want you, yes. You go. You get the general direct. Yeah. Okay. I'm, all right. I'm, I'm I'm loving it. Now, see what's unique about working with Kristen. We've never shot together, but she's quickly like got on to where my direction is, what I like, and that just makes my job so much easier. And then, of course, it helps when the person is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you caught that comment. I love how you're peering out at the street. Beautiful. There you go. Beautiful. Love it. So what we're doing is trying to capture, we want the compression here. So that's why I'm shooting as long of a lens as I can, which is the 135 2.8. So I have the, as close as I can without the light being in my shot, but then I'm trying to power her enough to where I can lower my exposure so that way I can pull the detail out of the background as much as I can. So we'll, we'll see how this, this looks. I would like to officially announce my retirement today. <laughs> so right now, everyone, I'm at ISO 1250, 2.8, 200th of a second, and I'm at a negative exposure value. <laughs> Can we make this official? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm loving these. Well, that was a very fun photo shoot. So I can't wait to go through and post process some of these. I'm I happy. So the master chef, chef herself, Kristen Willis. We're going to, I guess, get out of here and look for the pictures later on. Yeah, you've literally made my day. Literally.